What is up my YouTube family? It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. Right now, I'm just lowering the water, pretty much doing a water change, but I'm not doing a water change to get this tank clean. Today is the day I will actually make this tank look decent. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is you notice that there is no background on this aquarium. Uh, all of my tanks have a colored background except this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this one but I'm going to color it white. I know some of you might not agree with that, but for right now, that's what I wanna go with. It's my personal choice, I wanna try it out. I don't know how it's going to look until I try it. Today I went out and I got some materials for this tank. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I got some more uh, black sand. I will be putting some black sand into this aquarium. What I will be doing is I will be having half of the substrate that I have now and the other half I will take out and fill it with black sand. I also got two pieces of rocks that I will be gluing Java Fern and Anubias to. And I also got acrylic paint. You can use any brand of acrylic paint as long as it's acrylic as long as it's acrylic paint. But as long as it is acrylic paint, it'll work on your glass and you can easily take it off by scraping it off. So once the water drains down, I will go ahead and start painting the tank. It doesn't take long to paint the tank. After that, I will go ahead, scrub the algae off, put water back in, and I will go ahead and release these guys into their new home. I know you're supposed to quarantine your fish. It is my personal choice right now not to quarantine these fish. I don't never quarantine my fish. Usually I do, but sometimes I like to take the risk. I'm not saying you should too. Everybody does their own thing when it comes to the fish keeping hobby. This is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to show you guys. You don't have to agree with it. This is just what I'm doing. So these clown loaches are being acclimated. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, again, I'm going to take out half of this substrate, put half of it sand right here, and just leave this half the way it is. I'm also going to take out these plants. I'm going to get rid of all the plants that have brown algae on them. And there's some new growth coming in because I've been adding this stuff right here. I've been adding Flourish XL. This is what you will use if you don't have a CO2 tank for your uh, aquarium. You can use some of this. This is liquid CO2. It's kind of pricey and it does run out fast. And you can, you can overdose uh, with this. So be careful when you put this into the tank. Do not put too much in at one time because it will kill your fish. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I got a space here. I got a space here that's big enough to put sand in. I'm going to keep this substrate. I've already planted one plant here. I'm going to start replanting my plants over here. I'll be using this planting tool. I purchased this on Amazon, link in the description. Let's go ahead and start planting. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting the sand in there. Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully 
sand doesn't injure any of the fish that are just standing down there, but I think they will be okay. what I'm talking about all right guys I know it's a little murky in the water so you guys can't really see that well but I went ahead and I put the black sand in there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to even out the sand uh, with this tool right here this comes with the tool kit uh, with the tool that I was using earlier to put in the plants the tool kit comes with five utensils and this is one of them this is used to even out your substrate so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now alright guys now we got the sand even out now it's time to put in the rocks Check out these angelfish fighting. They are always fighting. Okay, now they stop, but right before I turned on the camera, they were going at each other like hardcore. Like they were ready to they were ready to rumble. Anyways, got the rocks, put in the 75 gallon tank now, and I put in the black sand. I also trimmed a few leaves. These were the plants that I was able to save and keep and these plants I just bought and I glued them to the rock and I'm hoping that they do well so I'm hoping the Cory cats in here will enjoy the sand that I just put in um, they're over there right now just hanging out they like to be where the sponge filter is I'm not sure why but uh, hopefully they'll start coming over here and start hiding behind the rocks and start playing with the sand check out how big this July quarry cat is. He is huge. If this water wasn't so murky, you guys would be able to see exactly how big he is. The Julys, I just picked up two of them. Uh, these July quarry cats, they are beautiful. And see, there they are. There's two of them right there. And they're bigger than all the other quarry cats. But these two behave a lot differently than the other ones. These, they like to swim around a lot. They swim around and uh, they're very active. These other quarry cats, they really just like to chill. They really just like to hang out at the bottom of the floor. These guys, they like to free float um, around in the tank and just play and just eat. They're always hungry and their whiskers are really long. They're kind of short now because they've been going uh, through this substrate so their barbells are not going to be uh, as strong and as long because you need sand for these type of fish. Let's go ahead and take a look at the clown loaches. Guys, check out my crawfish. My crawfish, he only comes out at night. Right now it's about it's about 1 a.m. and that's around the time that my crawfish likes to come out. He's really big. Uh, like, look at this fish right here. He's just about as big as this fish and this big this big this fish he's pretty sizable he's about he's almost as big as my hand and there's the peacock bass and there's the crawfish pretty big crawfish I wouldn't want to get pinched by that guy this guy if you guys are wondering when I got him I'm gonna go ahead and link that video right here 
uh, click on that card. You click on that card, it's going to uh, take you to the video of me doing a store tour. And at the end of that store tour, I ended up getting this guy. And he's one of my favorite pets, aquarium pets that I've ever kept. Even though I hardly see him, I just, I really admire his size and his beauty. I've never had a crawfish as big as this guy. And he's just, he's proud of his size and he knows he's big and bad to the bone. That's why he walks out and he just puffs his chest out and he don't even curl his tail up. Usually crawfish will curl their, their tail up when they're out and about and there's big fish around that can potentially hurt them. But yeah, you know, like you see this big old tarpon, he's not going to go for that tarpon. The tarpon's not going to go for him because the tarpon knows if he goes for this guy, he's going to get pinched. He's going to get hurt. Alright guys, so we are here at the 20 gallon tank. That right there is my Cory Hebrosis. I got him and two others just like him a few days ago. Now I am a little worried that my new clown loaches, which are right here, these are the clown loaches. I got three of them and I've always wanted clown loaches. But I've always held off because I could never find a decent sized clown loach for a good price. And finally I gave in at PetSmart today when I saw these little guys and I eventually got them. I At first I wanted big clown loaches but now I got small ones. Let me know what you guys think of the video. My name is Master Aquatics. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out guys.